Almost all over the world, from the poles to the equator, there are millions and millions of spiders. Legend makes the spider a villain. Remember the nursery rhyme about little Miss Muffet who sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey? Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Generally, we need not be frightened of spiders. This large huntsman spider is harmless to us. It eats insects and other small animals. Many spiders spin webs to trap their food. This black house spider has caught a grasshopper. It wraps it in silk and then poisons it. This is a model spider. Inside the heads of most spiders are poison sacs. Tubes carry venom to the fangs. And these are the fangs. In most spiders they close like pincers. Spiders have eight legs. They are not insects. Insects have only six legs and are a separate group. Ticks have eight legs. They belong to the spider group. So do scorpions. They have eight legs. This dangerous black widow from America has a red hourglass underneath its abdomen. There are venomous spiders in every continent. Spiders of the same family are found all over Africa, in southern Europe, in Asia, and in New Zealand. There is a similar kind in Australia, the redback spider. It lives in gardens and in rubbish dumps and especially in old tins. It is quite small. Usually its body is about the size of a pea. It looks like the black widow, but has a red streak or spot on its back. It is very glossy. Sometimes it is found in outhouses. It often lives right under the toilet seat, so do take care. The redback is dangerous. If you live where he's found, be careful when touching tins and logs. If you are bitten, tie a cord between the bite and the heart. Tighten it to stop the poisoned blood circulating. Clean the bite. Cut the bite and press out the blood. And get to a doctor at once. But the most deadly spider in the world lives in Australia and is found only in a small area near Sydney, mainly north of the harbour. It is found nowhere else. Its natural home is in holes in the ground and hollow trees. But it also comes into suburban districts, into gardens, and even into houses. Johnny saw one in his garden. A deadly funnel web spider. So he called his dad, and he came out with a stick. He soon found a funnel web spider near a rock. He decided to have a good look at her before he killed her. She was nearly two inches long and black on top. If anything comes near her, she sits right up and raises her poison fangs. She puts up her front legs to knock insects down, and then she poisons them with her fangs. Her venom can be deadly even to a grown man. She could not fight the stick, so she ran away. They will often pretend to be dead to deceive their enemies, but they soon come to life if they see an insect. Johnny's father wanted a closer look, so he got her up on his stick. Her body is in two parts, head and thorax, and abdomen. 
she hangs on tight to the stick with her eight legs. Johnny was interested, but a little afraid. She can move freely upside down and hangs on just as firmly as if this was her normal position. She can even hang on by the claws of one leg. Here is her abdomen. The two spinnerets at the end of the abdomen eject liquid which turns at once into a strand of silk. Under the funnel web spider's head are the two long polished fangs. They strike downward and do not pinch like the redback's fangs. They're about a quarter inch long and carry the venom into the body of any animal it strikes. As a rule, spiders have eight eyes on top of their heads. They also have two feelers, which look very like legs. In the frontal web area, they may be anywhere, so you have to be careful. Johnny's father made a thorough search. See what he found under an old plank, a frontal web spider's nest. In this case, it's a tunnel in the ground, lined untidily with web. At the end is the egg chamber in which she lays her eggs. She rears up angrily at being disturbed, and then she settles down again. Here you see her abdomen and combined head and thorax. Sometimes they come into the house and get into a shoe, waiting there and watching for insects. Spiders lurk in the dark. Look in your shoes before you put them on. Practice first aid, just in case. Tie a ligature above the bite, tighten it with a stick. Clean round the tiny wound. Cut it open and press out the blood. Get to a doctor at once. Most spiders are harmless. They destroy insects. These tunnels are made by harmless house spiders. They're interesting to study. You can tidy up webs without hurting the useful and harmless spiders. Always look at tins and rubbish before handling. Destroy any doubtful spiders on site, especially if they look like funnel webs, or have red markings like this red back.